Welcome to Three Tiny Questions. Three Tiny Questions with Suze and our Marie C. and Bo. Lovely Fundo! Hey everybody, welcome to Three Tiny Questions. This is where we, the tiny team, ask the leading minds in marketing one question each. We, it can be about brands, trends, culture, anything we want. You know, something that makes the client agency relationship better. So uh, I'm Tom Chrisman, partner at Tiny, the ad agency devoted to making great work with great people and having a great time doing it, those three things. And with me, as always, are my partners, Mike Rovner and Michael Stupak. How's it going? Hello, that's them. On today's episode of Three Tiny Questions, we're pleased to be joined by Suzanne Darmory. Suzanne's a good friend of mine and Tom's. We go back to J. Walter Thompson. She's held a number of positions at agencies and client side alike. She's currently the chief marketing officer at Refundo, a minority-owned fintech banking partner in the tax industry, helping tax professionals serve the underbanked within the community. Welcome, Suzanne. Thank you so much for having me, everybody. Did I get that? Right. Remotely right. You, you nailed it. Um, Suzanne, if it's okay with you, we're going to get started by learning a little bit about you. Just if you could tell us um, your background and your experience in marketing and advertising and anything else you want to share. Absolutely. Um, so I have an interesting path. I started as a junior copywriter at Gray Entertainment way many moons ago. Um, worked my way through all the agencies in New York um, and then moved to London for three years to learn about customer experience and then moved back to New York, went to RGA and Digitas and all those fun places. And then started going into the data-driven world, at which point um, I sort of had done the whole customer experience and then I went client side. So I did one of the things that people don't really do uh, traditionally, which is go from advertising to marketing and parlay all the experience to go that side. And it's very cool and it's very interesting. It's very challenging to go from agency side to client side. So um, I was client side about three years ago. I jumped over and I absolutely love it and am a bit of a dangerous client because I know all the things. Thanks. It's time for question one. So Refundo is a minority-owned company dedicated to serving and empowering an underrepresented and underbanked community. And we read a recent poll from Morning Consult that showed that most Americans don't want brands to take a stand on social issues. So how does Refundo reconcile that and ensure your mission has like something in it for me, for the consumer? That's a great question. We are an interesting business because a lot of businesses are B2B or B2C but we're actually b 2 b to c So we help the tax pros who help people in the community who are looking for refunds early um, for audits, for anything in the tax industry that they may not have re the representation for in a traditional way. Um, there are people who are, you know, look to their community for recommendations. So they come obviously through the tax pro, the tax pro then gives them the um, banking options to be able to get their money faster and their uh, money quicker and more of it so that they have money to, you know, from the refund, which is great. So the, the minority owned aspect of Refundo um, in a world where cause is on the one side feels like everything. And on the other side, people are pushing away and pushing back on brands that are cause related. Um, how does that play a role for Refundo? How do you how do you see it um, adding to your success? The fact that we can help people within the communities that we live is one of our purpose driven missions. So more than just being a banking partner or a tax partner that provides refunds, we become the partner in how they can get financial literacy and how they can help their family in the next generation. So that becomes really the mission and what we're trying to achieve is, is breaking the cycle of depending on a tax refund, you know, to pay rent or, or buy presents or whatever they, you know, buy tires traditionally. So that is the difference It's creating a new mission to help the next generation through financial literacy. 
That's another great answer. Um, and as always, Michael takes one tiny question and turns it into two complicated ones. <laughs> it's time for question two. Oh, you're on mute, buddy. And I'm terrified because it's Christmas. Uh, I was on mute the whole time. Gosh. Um, <laughs> Suzanne. No, don't be terrified. You've been on both sides of the agency marketing divide. What advice would you give to creative people who are thinking about making that leap from an agency to a marketing role? Great question. People often think that advertising and marketing are the same, and they are not. Advertising is when you target the consumer through a campaign, whether it's omnichannel or uh, single channel and how you get to the audience that way. Whereas marketing is real, really building the brand equity, changing the behaviors and influencing attitudes to create a new behavior and increase sales. So making that leap, which, you know, seems like it's this is actually this and going to this is an interesting process because you have to take what you know from the advertising world and parlay it into the marketing world. So saying, I understand a brand, but I'm gonna take it from the outside, from the advertising side to the internal, the curve of learning about one product and learning about what makes them tick and how to make them shine is very different than working on multiple campaigns or products or clients um, and really making that brand shine. A lot of companies are going in-house internally, you know, and I think that is a big threat to the advertising industry. Mm -hmm. So the ability to pivot from one to the other is critical. How you do it, I mean, for me, it was luck and fate. But it's, you know, it's a it's a hard answer because there's no secret, um, there's no secret way to to jump sides. But it is one of those things that I know people in advertising are like, I want to go client side. Yeah. Um, you know, and everything is always greener. It is an interesting place to run a brand versus work on a brand. Yeah. What were some of the things that you were like, oh, I didn't know that. Now I gotta now I gotta change how I do things. Well, the first client side brand I went to was a tax company in a, you know, before Refundo and learning about taxes is beyond. Like it is another language that I didn't speak. So, you know, whether you go to a technical side or you go to a CPG side, you go to a beauty side, whatever it is, you have to learn about that industry. And I think the understanding and the depth and and knowing you know, not only what the seasons look like we, you know, for any product, any client, and how you talk to customers throughout the year, throughout the season, and build your acquisition, your pipeline, and your retention and loyalty campaigns, you know, is a different world because it's a whole new world of whatever the brand you go to looks like. Mm. Great answer. And uh, I guess, Thank Tom, you. It's, it must be catching because Tom turned his one into two questions. Well, you know what I'm trying to do, Rovner? I'm trying All to up. give you stuff to edit to where you can take her. Take my qu second question out, Robner. I was take it out. That, but now you know we can't. Now, listener, you're hearing that I am not cutting it out right now. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> Cut it out. Um, <laughs> we're going to move on to, and I promise Four you. Four tiny the, questions. The third. Sorry. The, six. Yeah, fifth. The fifth tiny question, but it will not be the sixth. It's time for question three. <laughs> Welcome back to Three Tiny Questions. Um, I'm going to ask one question because that's what I do. I stick to the plot. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Refundo is a minority-owned company. It's dedicated to serving and empowering underrepresented, underbanked communities, as we've discussed. How important was that to you when you're making a choice not to go client-side, but to specifically work at this company? Absolutely. It was a huge decision because being at a purpose-driven company really makes a difference. I've worked at a lot of agencies, I've worked client-side, but having that ability to help people is a great reason to join a company. And I'm so happy to be there for that reason because we don't always get that mission. Sometimes the mission is, you know, sell products, increase awareness, you know, improve brand affinity, but really being able to help people who need it is unbelievable. Um, I find it interesting too, that, you know, all brands must have a purpose. You know, we talked about this last time too, is, uh, but having, you know, because it's what we call it a, a vision, right? We call it a mission. Um, even a positioning could be argued as a purpose. What's lovely about true purpose-driven brands is that you know right away what the purpose is. 
uh, and you don't, you know, and it's it's almost unfungible. It's nothing you can do about it, right? You've got a, such a clear, single-minded vision, positioning statement, mission uh, when you work in purpose-driven. So uh, I can see the appeal for sure. For sure. Absolutely. And it makes the go-to-market message so much easier. <laughs> you know, it's like there's no, um, there's nothing nebulous about it. It's just very clear and straightforward, there is a mission to help people. Um, and, you know, whether it's through the financial literacy I was talking about or uh, being able to get money to clients faster, working with tax pros to help their clients, it's, you know, just helping people is one of the reasons that is a value of being at a purpose driven company. Does it make you feel better personally? And honestly, does it make you feel like you get to do better work? It does because I've worked on a lot of brands. You know, I've worked on everything from fashion to telco to finance to you name it. Um, and being able to know that there are people whose lives are being changed is so different than just selling a beauty product to someone who wants to feel pretty, right? It's There's this huge difference of changing lives and we don't all get to work on that. And it is something, there is something really, really nice about that. I wanted to point out that there is a way to get some follow-up feedback without asking another question, Michael. Okay, this has been Three Tiny Questions with the absolutely fabulous Suzanne Darmory from Refundo. We are your hosts, the tiny team of Tom Chrisman, Mike Rovner, me, and Michael Stupak. You can check out our agency at tinyadagency.com and see us provoking big ideas and belly laughs all over your LinkedIn feeds. Tune in next time for more Three Tiny Questions, or five or six, depending on how many Stupak wants to ask, and send us your biggest marketing questions here in our feed, and you might find yourself uh, here on Three Tiny Questions. Stay tiny. It can happen. Stay tiny, everyone. Stay tiny.